What's going on, beautiful people? So, uh, at the very beginning of the year, you might remember, I opened up a little dive shop here in Dowan, Philippines with some friends. It was an awesome location, everything like that. We had a big get together. It was great. It went good for a while, but honestly, it was just too small. There's no parking for the amount of guests that I had. You know, you subscribers showing up, wanting to learn how to dive. And I mean, I would just have one class of open water divers and the entire resort was full. So, you know what? The only thing better than opening a dive center with some of your buddies is opening your own dive center by yourself with no bosses, no partners, and at a much, much bigger location. So, that was the goal. I've been going around make wheeling and dealing with big resorts here in town that don't have a dive center finally found the perfect location after months of negotiation i finally just signed the contract this week at a huge resort i got the business license i've been doing all the paperwork i've been negotiating signing this and that doing everything and i finally have a dive resort in my name all to myself so I'm good. What I'm going to do, it needs it needs it needs work. I need to build it up how I need it. I need to do some construction, minor construction, painting, furniture, stuff like that before I can set it up. It's going to have a it's going to have a school, office, all that, but we're going to cater to the big groups uh from the US, Australia, Europe, stuff like that. And, and particularly people interested in marine biology, underwater photography, underwater videography so what I'm gonna do this is gonna be a series about building my very own dive shop so let's get down there let's get started day one all right it's building day this is gonna be my new office and classroom so they're sweeping it out they were using it for storage before this was a dive center name before the pandemic and everything. So uh, I think today we're gonna paint over that. We're working on a logo right now. And we got a, we're gonna make this whole thing a, a window door like that. And then after that, we're gonna make that thing, put that, make, make that hole a window, glass window as well. Put some more shade. And then this will be, oh, and then we put a big doorway in the wall to make it one big uh, room. Classroom, an office, secretary, desk, classroom table, all that. That's the first thing. It's got to go. Ta-da! Nice and clean. Ready for the next one. All right, we're gonna take out this wall, make some kind of doorway to the classroom, secretary, desk and stuff, window. We'll put a window there. Need, need to find some paint. Maybe I'll do a studio here, or maybe I'll do a studio in the other room. I don't know yet, probably in the other room. So the secretary or somebody can just keep working. So this will be one big room. Well, they'll be separate, but with a big doorway. This will be a glass front like the other side, and yeah. Gotta go furniture shopping, and got a lot of work to do. But first, we gotta paint the outside, and get rid of the old logos, or signs, or whatever. And before I could do that, I gotta do, uh, I gotta go design a logo. So yeah, let's do that. That's enough. Aha. Uh -huh. That's perfect. It's close. Yeah, don't go too light. Now we're gonna need a few few layers. Few layers. I think you had the brakes locked on that roller. You're you're a uni unicorn. <laughs> Okay. 
Should be smiling when you're doing that. If I smile, it would drop in my mouth. <laughs> well, that's worth of views. Back in the day, I think this was a Chinese shop years ago. Cause I keep seeing these Chinese stickers everywhere on the windows and stuff that I gotta take off. And they said it was Chinese or Japanese owned or both, I don't know. Did you run them out of town on a rail or? There can only be one. Well, that's gone. It's an off-white because we're trying to match the uh, rest of the resort. So that was just to cover up that. And then of course, I'm gonna have to paint this stuff, which is a uh, different shade, but I don't know if you can see it's so freaking bright. Uh, but I could do that later. And I think I might put a sign on this side just so it's facing the uh, road. But first priority is a huge glass window and new AC, furniture, stuff like that. But first, the logo, or the sign, not necessarily the logo, but uh, some kind of sign. And then the logo and stuff for the street signs and stuff like that. Uh, but I got a designer or a painter coming, you know, like an artist type painter uh, to do the buildings. So come back tomorrow for that. Thanks for the help, Dexter. <laughs> and I forgot to mention our other buildings. We gotta paint those, and then we gotta paint my other three uh, rooms, my gear rooms. Same color and same logo or sign or whatever, Credit Republic, on my other buildings. So, you just walk across this, hell, oh, sweet house reef. You just come over here, got my wash bins. Uh, uh, this is gonna be a camera room, so uh, when we're diving, this is gonna be some big uh, camera tables, charging station, changing batteries, changing cards, whatever. Big table or counters here and here for uh, the cameras, and then uh, a partition right here for changing. There'll be benches and stuff in there for uh, a changing room. So we gotta do all that. Over here is uh, a drying room, I guess. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. But right now it's got drying racks and you can your boots, your wetsuits. And here's the actual gear storage for all the gear. So I guess that's pretty self-explanatory. But we gotta put the name on the building and paint the building. Gonna measure the doorway, make a new glass wall like this. And give me an estimate today. And he's gonna measure this, just make a tinted window. Yeah. All right, got the measurements. He's gonna go home and give me the cost estimates for the big door windows and the big, big window with no sliding opening coming together. Uh, day two, uh, we're gonna, uh, so this is my little boat ramp if I ever have kayaks and paddle boards and whatever to, uh, to rent out, be right here in front of the, uh, classroom, but right here, I had to do some measurement, don't worry, this is just water, zero calorie soda water, I had to make some measurements for the new AC, it's only 12 by 16, pretty tiny, but uh, I also got the estimates yesterday for the the new door, glass door like this for this side, and then a huge window, huge uh, tinted window on this side. So I think today we might paint this. It's gonna be uh, bright yellow, just like my logo and sign and stuff. 
I don't, actually, we probably won't paint because we're putting a big uh, doorway right here. I'm actually over there at my little temporary office designing. I don't know if I want a regular door that I can close and, you know, if there's a bunch of... The, the desk will be in here with the secretary. I don't know if it's busy in here. There's a bunch of walk-ins and I'm doing a class or somebody's doing a class in there. Maybe we want to shut it and have it all quiet. Um, or maybe... But then we have to buy another AC and put it somewhere. Or maybe we do like a big old arch. Just make it a big open room. I think that would be really cool actually. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. So, before I get started this morning, I gotta get my coffee. Uh, I'm working on this Google business. And it's basically, look, I set up, I set up my location in Dowan. I think it's done. It's pending, it says, whatever that means. But I set up my first business location on Google Maps. Credit Republic dive shop. It's gonna be awesome. So I hope that's all I had to do. It says pending. Maybe you guys can tell me how long it's supposed to be pending. You know, I got my phone number, my opening hours, uh, which is weird. It says 8 a.m. and it's past 8 a.m., but whatever. I'll fix that. Uh, pro, like a description. It's awesome. My website is number one, even though it's not even set up yet, it just says coming soon, so sweet. But I hear somebody over there, some guests at the hotel. I could hear my documentary playing, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go say hi. And I also been uh, designing some logos and signs and stuff. This is for the business card, the Facebook website. This is basically my logo, it's gonna be on the street signs uh, but I had to make a different one for the building I can't can't just do a crazy black square on the building I want to make it look nice so there we go I think I'm gonna get some votes from some friends I think this is gonna be the one on the side of the building and shirts I could put this on white shirts and I'll put this one on black shirts so I think this is it. It's cool, man. It's got yellow eyes. It's got a little tank for an eye. And, uh, yeah, this took me ages because I'm kind of an idiot on the laptop. This one had some yellow, but it, I don't think I need that. These guys are... Roy! Yes, what are you guys watching? Oh, hey. Uh... A video from um, <laughs> one of the most popular guys in Darwin. It sounds and in international as well. Sounds familiar. Yeah, we're watching this in uh, Where, Dubai. Yeah, you. So you're living from. You're in Dubai. Yeah. Nice. I'm just here for vacation. Yeah, I can't believe you came to Sierra. Wait, are you Justin? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to meet you, man. You gonna? You can you be in my uh, next video? Yes, for sure. Awesome, awesome. Pleasure. I hope you like uh, the critters. Love it. You're gonna have to come diving with us next time you're uh, in Dallas. I will do that. Thanks, sir. Thanks. I forgot to tell you, I've also been uh, designing my own logbook because I already have students and the uh, you know our freelance instructors have students, so I designed a logbook and. You know, the front page has your diver's name, contact, email, blood type, allergies, contacts, stuff like that. Insurance information, local contact. So I'll put like the emergency numbers, the chamber, all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's, some of it's already here for Dan. Oh, we're going to be a Dan facility. I'll talk about that later. I forgot. And then each page looks like this. So this is, all the pages are going to look the same, but with a different photo. It's awesome. And I made it like retro, vintage, not real looking. It's going to be sweet. So, you know, it's got your date, location, Dowin, wherever. Name of the dive site, time in, time out, bottom time. Is it a shore, day, night, you know, 
all the information that I wish I would have kept track of when I was coming up because you can really, you know, like your how much air you used. You can really track it over your dives and see how you've improved. Um, and then I would have wrote down all the critters I seen so that I could look the next year and see if I saw the same critters on the same month because it's it's really changing now. And then here, your uh, your dive master, dive shop, some instructor, whoever put their stamp. And you could say dive one, dive two. So look at this. Each page, there I think it's 50 pages, has a different little critter. Let me show you the wide. Yeah, each page I put a different little photo. It's awesome. Some of them are hilarious. They're all vintage. Uh, like, you know, the 1800s, marine bio biologist, naturalist, uh, drawing kind of things. And then, at, this is unique. This is something I kind of had. It's like the ultimate critter bucket list. So, you can write down the things you want to see the most, and then when you see them, check it off. This could take you years, lifetime, whatever. And that's it. It's an SDI facility. I might change this. I gotta change this to Critter Republic now. And right now I'm working on the front page. So uh, let's see. Yeah, I did this when I didn't know the name of my new dive shop. So I just gotta change the logo, make it Critter Republic. And I'm gonna put dive pass or uh, passport, like a Republic passport. <laughs> King Justin, why are you putting nacho cheese on the wall? It looks like that gas station cheese from back home, huh? <laughs> that liquid cheese. Don't, uh, don't lick the pan. I'm going to be licking the walls, sitting here working all night. Mm. Or teaching a class, I'll be licking the walls. But this yellow, I think I showed you guys the uh, logo and stuff, black and yellow. Should look good, but if you look online, all dive shops have crazy, ridiculous colors. Bright blue, whatever. Even on the outside. I can't do it on the outside here because I want to match the resort, but uh, usually you can tell it's a dive center from really far away. But I can do that on the inside. It's really freaking hot outside, so go in the inside. This is if. Big Bird from Sesame Street ate 30 gallons of nacho cheese, came into a small room and exploded. And honestly, I wish he would have done that because it would be a lot easier than painting this. The artist is here. He's going to make a sign on the building. And my... Just got my new AC. Office desk, chair, all kinds of cool stuff. This is a sweet one, but damn, it's heavy. The boss chair. So next day, I brought a few of my regulators. These I'm gonna put in my gear room, and then I got a few in the office, like decorations, that I'll use more often. I got some uh, fins, some of the BCDs here, some of the regulators. Uh, we're gonna be offering uh, this style. We got like parts and pieces coming, you know, donut back plates, either carbon fiber, steel, aluminum, different back plates, and harnesses because a lot of guys, maybe they're bigger or whatever, uh, we can build them to fit them exactly. This one's my personal one. But, and I got a weight pocket on it. I don't know where the weights are. But, uh, yeah, we'll build some uh, custom BCDs. Well, I thought I was done. Judea found some more wetsuits. <laughs> yeah, I'll just hang them up there for now. 
What we're looking for is small uh, wetsuits and BCDs. They're really hard to find or really expensive to order from the US, but we got like 10 year olds and 12 year old kids, students, are those hoods? Um, yeah, so we need really tiny wetsuits and BCDs and they're hard to find. Yeah, those are mine. What other, what, what size is that? Medium? Medium. Yeah, we need tiny kid sizes. So we made a little bit of progress. The sign is done. And we did some painting on the inside on the classroom part. Yellow's done. Still gotta do the black trim. Make it look cool. We got an AC set up. It's gonna be awesome for editing videos all day or teaching class. I got my shelf and a couple of regulators for, what's that? Uh, some of the uh, shirts. I think we'll hang the shirts. Or right, we have a little corner shelf here. I got a whole bunch of books I gotta put away. I got like a hundred, two hundred marine biology books. I brought like a handful now. Uh, I gotta hang the whiteboard because I have a student tomorrow. The instructor's coming. Let me see. Can I see? Can I? Okay, never mind. Got my SDI flag. We got some uh, stickers that Phil gave me. The regional manager. I. We'll put this somewhere, I guess. Maybe on these windows. <laughs> if nothing else, it'll block the sun. So we got a student tomorrow, so we're gonna put him in the, uh, what is this called? The King, King Deluxe Pool Room? It's, it's huge. Big. Big, what's in there? Refrigerator and then the Senna What's in here? So it's got a lock on the outside, so if I uh if you got annoying kids you put them in here. Yeah. Oh, that's a bathroom? Yes sir. You can uh <laughs> you can put your dog in there. Wow. All right. That's cool. Is that mahogany? Yeah, Gertz. All right, we'll put our open water student in there tomorrow for the next five days. He'll be right here on site while he takes his course. He could die. Well, here's a pool. One pool. And then we got the training pool right on the beach. So. I think he's gonna have a good time. I better go get the uh, office ready though. <laughs> more, a few more BCDs, a few more regulators. All Aqualung. All Aqualung, not really. There's a Morris in it. All Aqualung and Morris. <laughs> Got a few of them in here, a few of them in the other room. Don't really need a lot of gear right now. For the beginning of this, starting this business, I got plenty of friends at other shops that rent out gear. So when I have big groups, I'll just rent gear as I need. So I don't need a lot. This is mostly just for my students. We got a student coming in tomorrow. So yeah. All right, I think we made a lot of progress here at the dive shop. Critter Republic. Still have a lot to do. Look. Still got to paint this stuff. Take away the Chinese writing. Tint the windows. Uh, that's going to be my camera room. Big old camera room. Oh, Judea found another BCD. <laughs> this is mine. Yeah, it's not. You think everything's yours. This is going to be the camera room. Shelves, padded counters, changing room back there. Uh, still got to paint the office, the classroom, 
put the glass fronts on the second side but i think that's good for one day well one video this is about four days now uh so yeah lots to do but uh see you guys on the next one building uh critter republic dive shop here in Darwin.